महेश्वर गुरुर्साक्षा परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम अज्ञानतिरांध्य ज्ञानाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम गजानन भूतगणादिसे कपितजंबूफलचारुभक्षण उमासुत शोक विनाशकारक नमा विघ्नेशर पादपंकज सरस्वती महाभागे विद्ये कमलोचने विद्यारूपे विशालाक्षी विद्या नमोस्तु ते ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवतीमशाध्यायिनी अंबा ुसंदधा भगवदीते भवद्वेशिनी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे हुलायत पत्र नेत्रया भारत तैलपूर्ण प्रज्वाल ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रेत्रकपाणय ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतदुहे नम वसुदेवसुत कंस चाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोण तटा जयद्रतजला गांधार नीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोरमक दुर्योधनावर्तिनी सोत्तीर्णा खलु पांडवैरण नदी कैवर्तक केशव पाराशर्यवच सरोजमल गीतागंधोत्कट नाख्यानकसर हरिकथा संबोधनाबोधित लोके सज्जन षटरहर पेपीयम मुदा भूयाद भारत पंकज कलिमल प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूकं कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यत्तमह वंदे परमानंदमाधव गीताशास्त्रद पुण्यम यठे प्रयत पुमान्ष्णु पदमवाप्नोति भयशोक विवर्जि गीताध्ययनशील से प्राणायाम पर नव सी पापानी पूर्वजन्मता च मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जलस्ना दिने दिने सकृदीतांसी स्ना संसारमलनाशन गीतासुगीताकर्तव्या किमशास्त्र विस्तर या स्वयं पद्मनाभ से मुख पद्मासृता भारतामृत सर्वस्व विष्णोर्वक्सृत गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म विद्यते सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपालनंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत एक शास्त्र देवकीपुत्र गीतमेको देव देवकी पुत्र एव एको मंत्रस्तस्यनाप्येक सेवा शाताकार भुजगशयनम 
पद्मनाभं सुरेशं विश्वाधारं गगन सदृशं मेघवर्ण शुभांगं लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिभ्यानगम्यं वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ यं ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमरुतस्तुन्वती दिव्यस्तव वेदसांगपदक्रमोपनिषदर्गायती ध्यानावस्थितगतेन मनसा पश्यती योगिन यदक्षरपदभ्रष्टं तस्मदक्षरपद्रष्ट मीन चवे तत्व क्षम्यता देवनायण नमोस्तु ते कायेन वाचा मनसेन्द्रियर्वा बुद्ध्यात्म प्रकृते कौमि यदल परस्म नारायणाएति समर्पयामी महापापादिपापा गीताध्ययन कौति चेत क्वचि स्पर्शम न कुरवती नलिनीदल अंबुवत गीताया पुस्तक यठ प्रवर्तते त्र सर्वाणी तीर्था प्रयागादी त्र वै यत्र गीता विचारस्च पठनं पाठनं श्रुत तत्र अहम् निश्चित पृथ्वी निवसा सदव ही चिदानंदेन कृष्णेन प्रोक्ता स्वुखतोर्जुन वेदत्रयी परानंदा तत्वान संयुत अष्टादश जपी नित्यं नरो निश्चलमानस ज्ञान सिद्धि स लभते तथो याति परम पदम गीता ध्यायते नित्यं कृत्वा कर्माणि भूरिशः जीवन मुक्त स विज्ञेयो देहांते परम पदम मंदारगंध संयुक्त चारुहास चतुर्भुज बर्हि पिछा वचूंगं कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु रुक्मिणी केली संयुक्त पीतांबर सुशोभित अवाप्त तुसी गंधम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु उत्फुल्ल पद्म पत्राक्ष नीलजीमूत सन्निभम यादवाना शिरोरत्न कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु चर्चा अस्तु इदानीम वन सेवेंटी पेज नंबर नवदश श्लोक पठनीय सूर्य भगिनी पठित इच्छति वा नवदश्य कर्म 
परमात्मोति पुरुषः तस्मात् तस्मात् असक्तः सततं कार्यं कर्म समाचरा असक्तः हि आचरं कर्म परमं परमं आत्मोति परम 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 आत्मोति पुरुषः तस्मात् पंचमे विभक्ति तरवात पदम नई तत्ष कार्यु नियत नियत प्रत्यय ऑफ़ द क्रूद हाथु डेट इज़ वन थिंग डेट वी कैन टेक ऑफ़ द क्रूद हाथु नियत ओके नपुंसक लिंगा मेवा हम्म 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 ह सम्म आ उपसर्ग सम्म उपसर्ग आ उपसर्ग हम्म अच्छा तो हाँ तो हम्म समाचार असक्ता हाँ पुनः हम अल्लाह असक्ता हाँ ना सक्ता हाँ असक्ता हाँ हम्म आ उपसर्ग सक्ता हाँ प्रथमा विभक्ति एक वचन हाँ पुम्लिंगा प्रथमा विभक्ति एक वचन वचन या चरण की अभियान शत्रुप्रत्यति परम 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 मले सर्वनाम शब्दम परम मुंडी नपुंसक द्वितीय आविर्भाव आप नोटे आप आप धातु धातु लटलक 
ಅನಂತರ ಕಥಂ ಭೂತ 
satatam karyam karma samachara katam katham bhutaha so kaha karyam karma samachara who should who should do here samachara is in madhyama purusha so tvam tvam karyam karma satatam samachara you always do sat karma how should you do like uh, uh, what kind of person you should be while you are doing this karyam asaktah asaktah satatam karyam karma samachara so katham bhutah means how should you be when you are doing this work asaktah one should be asaktah asaktah means should not have any kind of uh, uh, interest or attachment with the work tasmat asaktah satatam karyam karma samachara so how does this tasmat connect this tasmat is connecting to the previous shloka actually in the previous shloka what did we uh, what did we study so there atma triptasya purushasya kritena karmana akritena api karmana prayojanam nasti so pranishu kena api saha tasya prayojanasya hetu sambandha api nasti okay so basically in the previous shloka we learnt how uh, uh, a person who is qualified for a gnana marga is okay a person who is we have two paths gnana marga and karma marga a person who should take the gnana marga the qualities we have studied in the last two shlokas but not everybody can be like that because we have some kind of attachment with the outside world though we are spiritually um, we are also on the spiritual path we are also able to uh, be happy with the atma and uh, atma santushta and all but we are still having connection with the outside world and we are still gaining some kind of uh, um, trupti and santosham and everything even from the outside world there is still both sides for a regular normal person so for us wh whoever is in uh, still connected with the outside world even a little bit they still have to do the sat karmas because that is the only way you uh, you uh, either find uh, moksha or path into the gnana marga or if you are not ready for the gnana marga if you still have so many desires to be um satisfied then karma margam is the only way to still lead that life as long as a person even eats annam as as little as dependent on the outside world with as little as just eating food even then still we still have to perform sat karmas because we are still attached or or connected not attached but we are still connected with the materialistic world so as long as we are connected with the materialistic world it need not be uh, only for indriya triptah but still even even dependent on the outside world as long as we are there we still have to do our karmas so that is what we studied in the last two shlokas so kritena or akritena right in both ways a, a person who is on the gnana marga will not be connected uh he he is not required or he he is uh, not associated with any of the uh, or he does not have to do any uh, karmas okay even for uh, uh, sat karmas or even by doing the sat karmas or without doing the sat karmas also he is not affected but a person who is still has any kind of association with the materialistic world he still has to do karyam satkaryam always so tasmat means hence this tasmat is connecting us from the previous shloka because in the previous shloka it has been explained how a person should be and how a person who is on the gnana marga is and since the rest of us are not in the gnana marga yet completely we are still a little bit here and a little bit there we are still not completely connected so we still have to continue doing the satmark hence tasma hence asaktah so being asaktah being not attached satatam karyam karma samachara so always do satkaryam asaktah hi acharan karma 
param apnoti purushaha so that person that human who does uh, karma acharan karma being how asaktaha being asaktaha and he who the purushaha who is asaktaha and he, he who performs the karma param apnoti only that person will attain the parama padam okay the param dhama so here basically um, yeah again they are emphasizing this on how a person on the karma marga should be just because we are on the karma marga it does not mean we can simply uh, indulge in uh, the indriya indriyas still we have to do the sat karmas only and also without any kind of attachment to the karma, to the phalam okay without any phala kanksha or phala peksha we have to do the karyams so this point is being emphasized again and again and again from the beginning right without any uh, phala peksha we have to do without any phala peksha we have to do because why why is it uh, told so many times because that is a very hard thing to practice or to be able to master so that constant abhyasam needs to be there so for us this is a, this is like a reminder at every point so it is being told to us in all possible ways that we have to do our karmas doing karma is important but without attachment without phala peksha and that to not any kind of karma only the sat karmas so these are the points we have to take from all these shlokas the the gist of all these shlokas uh, so far is that we have to do karmas we cannot simply sit and uh, enjoy the benefits of the hard work of others that is only becoming a crowing papam so we have to do karmas and that to sat karmas and that to uh, phala peksha vina and uh, uh, sat karmas okay without any kind of attachment towards the karyam or the phalam so uh, why it is being said so many times is only to uh, emphasize on the importance of that so in the karma marga these are the things we have to keep in mind while doing our karmas not any kind of karma can be done okay so here for asaktaha small example was given somewhere i just uh, when i was listening to some discourse it is like how you cut the uh, panasa fruit the jack fruit so when you cut the jack fruit it is very sticky right so how will you do without uh, getting your hands sticky we apply oil we apply oil and we uh, cut open the jack fruit and separate all the um whatever you call that tonalu panasa tonalu so when you apply in a foil then nothing nothing touches your hands but you are still doing the karyam you still get the uh, job done without any kind of uh, attachment so that is how they explain the asaktaha uh, you have to do with diligence you are doing the job with diligence giving your best but at the same time without any kind of attachment it should be detached there is another example i heard somewhere else also like how a coconut which is dried so the shell is impact the coconut is inside it but it has already detached from the shell when it is uh, when it is raw it will uh, it is still attached to the shell but kuridi kattesind antam manam so once that happens the the coconut inside the shell Uh, will separate itself from the shell but it is still inside only we still did not break open the coconut so if you uh, shake it you can even hear the sound so like that we should be the atma within the body should be like that it should be detached with the body but it is still there in the body right so that is how they compare these are all examples uh, given to us so that we can visualize how something can be possible okay so when we compare it uh, you know in that way it is easy for us to understand the tatvam of paramatma 
and once it becomes easy for us to understand it will be easy to put it into practice by constant correct it will not and uh, there will not be that kind of attachment so uh, it will be you you should be able to see yourself and the body separately so so whenever we are looking at the body okay this is just a body a sadhana for me to to uh, exist in this materialistic world as long as i am existing in this materialistic world i need this body so why do we need this body to do satkaryas to to clear ourselves of our uh, you know papakritis and to to attain moksha we need we need to use this body as a sadhana we need that only for that purpose that is why they say even the human life is blessed why because we can we can chant the name of uh, the name of the lord animals cannot chant the name of the lord so that is why human uh, life is supposed to be very precious compared to the lives of animals or trees or other living or non living things so that is another reminder for us to use our words only for the good so we we have to remind ourselves of that always whenever we get angry or whenever we get upset sometimes we tend to say some very harsh words to others so that time we need to remember that we are given this uh, power of speech the humans to use it to attain moksha so the more uh, we use it in vain you know again we will be it is like it is not a satkaryam so we will be again accruing sin so we have to constantly remind ourselves the purpose of this uh, life and why we are in this body only to do the sadhana to attain moksha that constant reminder we need and while uh, while uh, you know to practice that all these uh, teachings will help us so how to lead that life so unless we know many people don't know that many people don't know they think that uh, whatever comes to their mind they simply uh, speak without thinking whether we are hurting the other person with our harsh words or not right they they simply talk they don't know because they don't know they are not aware of it nobody has told them they haven't heard it anywhere so they don't know so that is the reason why we need to study all these uh, shlokas and understand and also try to put it into practice and also explain it to people around us like our children or grandchildren or siblings or whoever whoever we feel that need to know this but who are ready to understand this also they should be able to understand it also so that comes in the next few shlokas the importance of that also comes why we need to put it into practice and uh, uh, you know especially why we need to put it into practice whatever whatever we are practicing we also have to be conscious uh, it is not only for us it is not only for us to be on the path of moksha but it is also to set an example to people around us so that they will also learn because if they don't have any source of learning many people do not have the source um so they will follow people who are already a little ahead of them who are already on a good path that is why many people follow these gurus right they have these uh, uh, swami ji's and gurus that they follow why because they have already read so many shastras they have a better knowledge about how to lead a, a dharmika life and all that so the followers will follow that whatever the guru says they have complete trust in the guru believing that whatever the shastras have um, are telling how to lead a dharmika life they will give us so we don't have to again study we may not be capable of studying all the shastras so at least we will uh, learn from the gurus so the importance of that also will come in the next uh, shlokas so that is with this uh, shloka so here we have this samachara and then apnoti so tasmat is connecting us to the previous shloka whereas here uh, for apnoti asaktah asaktah hi aacharan karma param apnoti purushah so apnoti is the kriya padam here purushah is the karta purushah apnoti 
kim apnoti param apnoti so param will be the karma padam how does he uh, attain param acharan while practicing practicing what karma okay practicing the karmas which are defined as the sat karmas in the previous line practicing those karmas karma acharan asaktaha being asaktaha so asaktaha karma acharan so puru purushaha param apnoti so acharan what will it become karma acharan puru, purushaha param apnoti so this purushaha while he is practicing or or uh, uh, performing the karmas is obtaining the parama padam so acharan will be kartr samanadhikaranam like the vidhe visheshana okay we refer to it as vidhe visheshana so purushaha karma acharan param apnoti okay so it is like balakaha pustakam pathan uh, duradarshanam pashyati <clears throat> okay so pustakam pathan while while uh, uh, reading the book okay he uh, uh, is also watching the tv so here pathan pathan is a vidhe visheshana of the balakaha so balakaha pathan pashyati or pathan likhati okay it becomes vidhe visheshana so here asaktaha asaktaha purushaha karma acharan param apnoti okay so here also acharan will be the vidhe visheshana of purushaha and param will be the karma padam karma will be the karma padam to acharan karma acharan purushaha param apnoti okay and asaktaha you can take it as visheshana to either acharan or purushaha it doesn't matter uh, yeah, i would connect ah asaktaha ante hmm ante dani med aasa lekunda ante aasakti lekunda anna ardham ostundi kaani asaktaha ante chetaka ane vaallu annatta appudu ostunda lekapothe daniki verega word untundi here it is phalapeksha uh, vina ఫరెంట్ భగినీ అవి చిన్న చిన్న డిఫరెన్సెస్ దేర్ విల్ బి దేర్ బికాస్ ఈవెన్ విత్ ఇన్ ద ధాతుస్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ దేర్ విల్ బి సర్టెయిన్ సూత్రస్ దట్ విల్ చేంజ్ ద షకారా టు సకారా దేర్ విల్ చేంజెస్ బట్ షచ్ ఇస్ ద ధాతు విచ్ విల్ టర్న్ సోమవారం సకారమేనా కాదు కాదు షాజ్ ఇన్ షష్టి షకారా ధాతు అవి దేర్ విల్ బి స్మాల్ డిఫరెన్సెస్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ ప్లేస్ టు అనదర్ బికాస్ సమ్ విల్ టేక్ ఇట్ యాజ్ బికాస్ దేర్ ఈస్ అ ప్రక్రియ the original shachan oh, kondi okay. after a certain prakriya it will change into uh, sakta oh, okay so some okay. websites can show you sakta some websites can show you shach so a uh, prakriya lo ye stage lo daina kaani it can be shown in the uh, particular ante whatever the, that website is following um, you know that prakriya depending on the prakriya which one they choose to show 
they can show so there might be small differences here and there but many times in the dhatus the shakara will be replaced with the sakara mm. for some for some dhatus that uh, rule applies mm. again they become cut not always the shakara directly changes to sakara but mm. depending on uh, certain factors that uh, changes there mm. Okay, that uh, Shaknoti hmm. is, uh, what did we say for Shaknoti? What is the Dhatu there? Kapabullan, Matros, Bukannan, Shekhtu Dhatu. Okay. Shaknoti is Dhatu Kalamara there. Shaknoti is Dhatu Kalamara. Shaknu Kadu, Shaknu Kadu. That is... Uh, Shankarasha uh, and Kakaraha. Shakka. Uh, Kevalam Shakka. Hmm. Sh Shankarasha and uh, just Kevalam Kakara. Here, uh, this uh, Sanjidhatu itself is the Shach. If you look at the Sanj is the Laukika Dhatu. Whereas the original, like how for Gam Dhatu, Gamlr is there, no? Like that, the original Dhatu is Shad. Such that will change after certain prakriyas, it will change to Sanj, the one that is given in this book. In this book, they have given it as Sanj, Khada. So that Sanj is derived from the Shach. And it will later on become Sakt. Uh, in the prakriya, the actual word becomes Sakt. So in the Kartari Prayoga, also the forms will be Sajati, Sajanti, like that. Sakta also is there. In Lutlakara, it is a Sakta. So the forms are a little, you know, they change. Okay. Okay, so that is with this uh, shloka. Any questions? So here we have in the sandhi, we have uh, jashtva sandhi, yang sandhi. Uh, you all are familiar with both. And then asaktaha, na saktaha, nai purusha. And then kridanta, saktaha, again, uh, kta pratyaya of the sanj or shach dhatu, we can say. We'll, uh, we'll take the laukika uh, dhatu only. So, Sanj, A Charan, A Upasarga Char, and Shatranta. Okay. So, next uh, shloka, Alivelu Bhagini. Aam uh, Bhagini. Karma naiva hi sam sithim asthita jana kadaya ha Loka Sangraha me vapi Sampasyan kattu marhasi Karmana eva hi Samsidhim Astita janaka dayaha Loka Sangraham eva api Sampasyan kattu marhasi Karmana Karma Karman Nakaranta hmm. hmm. Napumsukalingam Kruti Avibhakti Ekavachanam. Eva Abhyayam, He Abhyayam. Samsidhim. Samsidhim Akaranta Napumsakalingam Kruti Avibhakti Ekavachanam. Aha, Samsidhi. Samsidhi Ikaranta Strilinga Shabdam. Samsidhi Ikaranta Strilinga. Dviti Avibhakti Ekavachanam. Samsidhim Asthitaha Thada mm. Tuhu mm. Kartari Tabrachayam Aupasarga mm. Asthitaha Janaka Dayaha Janaka Dayaha Janaka So Adayaha, whenever you get Adayaha, Adi Shabda Adi Ikaranta ah. So Janaka Adi, it is a Samasta word. It is a mm. samasa word, but uh, it is a pumlinga 
बहुवचन पुमलिंग बहुवचन जनकाद लोकसंग्रह लोकसंग्रह अकारा पुंसलिंग द्वितीयाचन शत्रुप्रचय तुमुन प्रचय क्रूधा अर्हसी मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन प्रथम मध्यम पुरुष एक वचन पदार्थ जनकाद जनकराज प्रभृत कर्मचरणसी अन्वय जनकाद संसिधि आस्थिता जनकादिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थितिस्थिति
అర్హ ధాతు కర్తరి లట్లకార మధ్యమ పురుష సో అత్ర ఉక్తమస్తి కర్మణైవ హి సంసిద్ధిం ఆస్థి జనకాదయ సో జనకాదయ సో హియర్ జనక అండ్ యాజ్ సచ్ కింగ్స్ ఆర్ బీయింగ్ కోటెడ్ యాజ్ అన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వాట్ డిడ్ దే డూ సంసిద్ధిం సిద్ధిం ఆస్థి దే హ్యావ్ అటైండ్ సిద్ధి జనక అండ్ యాజ్ సచ్ పీపుల్ లైక్ జనక దే ఆర్ ఫ్యూ అదర్ కింగ్స్ లైక్ జనక who have already attained siddhi kintu karmana through their karmas itself through their karmas they have attained siddhi asthitaha tvam api loka sangraham sampashyan karma kartum arhasi so here the uh, meaning of this shloka is through the karmas janakadayah kings like janaka and a few others have attained siddhi similarly you also take that karma karma margam that path and you all you also can do uh, the same to attain siddhi but there is one more thing loka sangraham sampashyan now janaka dayah after attaining siddhi why are they still doing karmas why are they still in this world doing the karmas they have already attained siddhi but they are still continuing to do the karmas why because if everybody who attains siddhi is gone they have reached the parama padam they are no longer in this world they have gone to uh, and uh, uh, how do you say uh, they they joined with the paramatma so nobody is here whoever has attained siddhi nobody is here so how will other people know how to how to attain siddhi or how to lead a life uh, in the karma marga without being attached to the karmas without being attached to this materialistic world how to follow that uh, path how will anybody know somebody should be there for others to follow for others to understand so janakadayah they are continuing though they have attained siddhi they are continuing to lead the life here in this world so that they are setting an example to others for them also to understand how to attain siddhi through the karma marga okay so similarly you also so krishna is now saying to arjuna you also loka sangraham sampashyan here sampashyan means uh, considering to set an example in that sense it is used loka sangraham loka sangraham means for the benefit of the to set an example loka sangraham means how to set an example like in the uh, the swadharmam and paradharmam how to how to uh, how to follow the swadharma in a dharmika way and lead your life until you attain the siddhi so for so to follow for, the way of life ha uh, for understanding for uh, for understanding how for the understanding of the people okay so you also follow that path so here we can take for the uh, analysis or the anvayam how we can take is karmana eva janakadayah samsiddhim asthitah santi okay so they have attained having attained the siddhi they are there janakadayah samsiddhim asthitah santi so how did they attain this siddhi karmana through the karmas so karmana will be karana karakam janakadayah will be kartrupadam they attained samsiddhi so samsiddhim will be karma padam asthitah santi having attained the siddhi they are there so asthitah itself you can take as the kriya padam but it is not a proper kriya so for more clarity in the anvaya we take adhyahritam of santi so then janakadayah will be kartrupadam asthitah will become vidheya visheshana because the janakadayah have attained the siddhi through the karmas so asthitah will be vidheya visheshana to janakadayah 
and Santi will be the primary Kriyapadam, which is taken as Adhyahritam. That is the first part of the sentence. So the second part, Arhasi. It is Madhyama Purusha Ekavachana. So Tvam we can take as Adhyahritam uh, Kartrupadam. Because uh, Krishna is speaking to Arjuna. So Tvam Arhasi. Okay, Tvam Api Arhasi. You are also eligible. You are also required to do this. To do what? Kartu Marhasi. Kim Kartu Marhasi? Tatha Eva. Janakadaya Eva. Loka Sangraham Sampashyan Eva. Kartum Arhasi. So here Tvam Sampashyan. Again, this is a Shetranta, right? Sampashyan is a Shetranta word. So we can take it as Visheshana. Usually the Shatranta words in Prathama Vibhakti, that which are in Prathama Vibhakti are, can be taken as uh, uh, Vidheya Visheshana. They will become normally Vidheya Visheshana. So here also, Tvam Loka Sangraham Sampashyan Arhasi. So Sampashyan will be Vidheya Visheshana to Tvam. Loka Sangraham will be Karmapadam to Sampashyan. And then Kartum. Uh, Kartum Arhasi. Kim Kartum Arhasi Sampashyan Kartum uh, Karma Kartum Arhasi actually. Okay, Loka Sangraham Sampashyan Karma Kartum Arhasi. So in that same way for the benefit of the people, uh, to set an example to the people, you are also, uh, you, you can also follow this Karma Marga. That is what is being said here. Okay, and not only to set an example, so here, what is conveyed uh, is uh, uh, it is the responsibility basically of people like you to follow this karma marga. You, you are a sadhaka. You can very easily uh, follow the jnana marga also. But you still have some responsibilities and duties here because being a king, he still has some responsibilities towards his people. So he cannot follow the jnana margam yet because in the Jnana Margam, it is clearly told that a person who can take the Jnana Margam should not have any kind of attachment with the world. Not only for the satisfaction of the Indriyas, but even any kind of attachment. But Arjuna is still a king. He still has some responsibilities. Whether he, even though he does not have the Phalapeksha, still he has the responsibilities of certain duties. So you follow this Karma Marga. Like the Janakadayaha, you also attain Siddhi through the Karma Marga and set an example to the other people. And that is the responsibility of people who are uh, who are far ahead in this Marga, in this uh, Moksha Marga, who are ahead. They, It is their responsibility to set an example to people who are still struggling to get on to that Marga. Okay, or still are not aware of that marga. And how do we do that? Not by simply preaching. We have to practice. Only when we practice, people also will follow that. No matter how much we preach, but if we are not practicing, people around us will, will observe that. They will understand that. So they, will, they, they tend to follow what is being practiced rather than what you are preaching. Whether it is uh, people um, around you, like uh, your family members, uh, kids always follow the elders in the family, not knowing. They, they don't explicitly uh, follow, but it uh, becomes, you know, after a while, if you see, uh, they pick up some habits from people around them. Whether it is uh, speaking harshly or, uh, you know, disobeying or showing some uh, not very good manners. Again, on the contrary, showing good qualities also, they pick it up from the people around them. So all these will be there. But uh, many times what happens is, uh, even though even though the people around, uh, you know, around the kids, uh, some of them practice very, um, you know, good habits, but there will be one or a few, few people around, again, the same children, either, uh, you know, from their colony or in the school or somewhere. If they are not following, um, you know, if they are not following the right path, the kids tend to also pick that up also. Why? Because such things uh, get more attention. So when the attention is not given also, they tend to pick because they are not matured enough. 
so we constantly need to remind them of what is good and what is bad and through our practice also so even if somebody is behaving badly that also we need to talk to them and tell them that that is not a good thing like how in uh, the purpose of all our uh, epics is the same um, you know again in another discourse also i have um, heard um, you know that speaker saying see in other history books history in the other uh, countries they only tell about okay this king ruled for so many years uh, he conquered so many kingdoms, um, you know, he ruled for so many years and this and that. But whereas in our epics, how will it, how is it? It is not only about conquering or um, how, uh, how, when he existed, the time period. It is not just that, especially in our Ramayana and Mahabharata. They also explain how the situations are dealt with. Now, when Rama came across uh, the problems that he had come across, it is clearly mentioned how, uh, you know, what he did to overcome those problems. Now, when he was uh, looking for Sita, he had to take the help of uh, uh, Hanuman. He had to take the help of uh, Sugriva. See, he is an avatara purusha, but still in time of need, when he needed help, he did not hesitate to ask for help. That is another thing that we need to teach, uh, uh, you know, to to our uh, children, to people of this generation, because uh, many times they hesitate. They hes Many people hesitate to even admit that they have a problem because they think that other people might think low of them. Oh, you're not capable of handling, you know, a problem. So, so, so we can take Rama's life as an example, even though he's such a capable uh, or a superior person, he still did not hesitate to take help from somebody as simple as Sugriva. Not that he was not able to do it by himself. It is only to set an example to all the humans that when the time comes and when help is needed, we should not hesitate to ask help. Because without help, certain things may not be done. That emotional and mental health also will be affected if we, if we do not uh, trust or have trust in at least some of our family or friends. So that uh, bonding should be there. Um, and it is an example for everybody, like even for the person who is asking help and even whom he asks. So when somebody comes to us for help, we should not look down upon them. We should uh, treat them with who they are. So many times uh, what happens is uh, a person is there and no matter how, how capable a person is, sometimes even they will need help. That is the most important thing. Because many people are afraid, see, I have a certain image in the society. I have a certain image in the family. Now, if I uh, open up and share my problems and ask for help, they might think that I'm a weak person. They might think, uh, they might not respect me anymore. So, they have their own insecurities. So, they will struggle with this uh, uh, problems all by themselves, which is not needed. So, we also should be capable of providing such kind of uh, emotional help to our family or friends who are in need of that and without any judgment. Okay, we should not be judgmental. We should not talk uh, uh, less of them just because they are facing this problem. Why? Because no matter how strong a person is, there will be times when they can, uh, when they can uh, face a problem which they are unable to handle. So that kind of thing should be there. I also personally noticed that many times that fails in the family. You know, they, they either brush it off or they are like, uh, how can you not take care of it? Things like that, uh, you know, is a common sight in many uh, communities. So I think that is one thing that uh, we all should be aware of and uh, should put it into practice and uh, so that even our family will come to us when they really need. Otherwise, they'll go to some outside help and we don't know how genuine that outside help is. That outside people, they may or may not know. Um, so they might uh, give a wrong advice or whatever. So that kind of thing also should be there. We should also set an example in that way also. So that our family and friends come to us. They should have that trust with us. So they should come to us and they follow the same. Once they know how comforting that support is, they will also extend the same to their uh, to their uh, family or kids, right? 
so many times uh, unknowingly the parents will put so much of pressure on the kids to be to be successful and the kids uh, sometimes they are unable to take that so they they tend to um, they tend to keep it keep things away from the parents because they are afraid uh, the parents may feel uh, that they might uh, feel dejected by the parents so you are not able to do this you know many parents do that unknowingly they don't know that they are hurting the emotional uh, side of the child unknowingly uh, they show their disappointment in a very harsh way that the children will be scarred for a very long time so such things can happen all those you know come under this so we have to because of the attachment only right that this happens because the parents are so attached in the phalam of the whatever the kid is doing so if he's studying they they expect him to be uh, class first if they are doing a job they expect him to be the best or the topmost position or the highest salary or they should be able to maintain a very good uh, uh, you know life in the society so because of all these expectations only when they are not able to reach that expectation they might be doing just fine but just because they are not able to meet with this uh, unreasonable expectations of the parents the parents get upset they speak uh, things to the children and the children get hurt emotionally so all these will come so we have to practice doing our karmas without the phala peksha and uh, also set an example so that even our kids also will learn the same and uh, they will set an example to their kids and then the whole um, you know family and the generation will be they, they will actually attain more they will uh, be able to become more successful if we provide such kind of positive environment so here uh, janakadaya are such people who are setting an example so like them like how they have attained the siddhi by following this path you are also capable so you also do for the people because it is the responsibility of people who are uh, more knowledgeable um, and who are on the spiritual path it is their responsibility to set an example to others so this is what this shloka says and here the sandhis that we have are vriddhi sandhi and visarga sandhi lopa loka sangraham lokasya sangraha tam shashti tatpurusha janakadaya janakaha aadihi yesham te okay so this is bahuvrihi and uh, sam siddhim so sam and siddh dhatu uh, this is used in the bhave uh, because it is not indicating the karta or it is not indicating the karma okay siddhi it is a state so it is given as bhave asthitaha so here it is given as kartari why because it is indicating janakadaya means people means karta so asthitaha a upasarga stha dhatu kta pratyaya kartari again sangraham so graha dhatu sam upasarga it is again given as bhave why because it is not indicating a karta or a karma so that is how you can identify a verb which is bhave sam pashyan so drish dhatu sam upasarga shatranta and always remember shatrantas are mostly used as uh, visheshanas so whenever you find a shatranta uh, you you try to recognize to which word it is the visheshana and specially if it is in prathama vibhakti it will uh, mostly be uh, vidheya visheshana okay and all other shatrantas the dvitiya vibhakti tritiya vibhakti chaturthi the uh, shatrantas which are in other vibhaktis will be regular visheshanas they cannot be Uh, vidhya visheshana normally okay so these are the general rules there can always be an exception here and there but these rules if you remember it will be easy for you to connect the words um, easily the karaka relations uh, you will be able to connect easily okay bhagini shamyata bhagini bhave ityante not indicating karta ya karma annaru karta indicate cheyakapodam ante elaga Uh, so basically um, uh, kridanta can always in uh, be either in kartari or karmani or bhave mm-hmm. okay. so when we say kartari so say for example here asthitaha 
So Sthitaha, those who are there, like the Sthadhatu means the Tishtati Kriyapadam, means like they are there or standing. Standing is a more uh, uh, common uh, usage, but uh, here meaning in Siddhini Pondi Unnaru Vartate Yaga. It is, uh, yes. it is similar to Vartate in the meaning here in this context. So Janakada Yaha Samsiddhim Asthitaha Santi. Janakada Yulu Siddhini Pondi Unnaru. Mm -hmm. Asthitaha is is indicating a group of people, right? Like the Janakadayaha. Mm. They are the Kartrupadam. The Janakadayaha is the Kartrupadam here. So it is indicating a Karta. Mm. So Kartari means it is indicating Karta of that uh, yes. sentence. Yes. Whereas yes. means it is it is indicating Karma. Like say for example, uh, mm, Uh, karma padam. Pushpam vikasyate. Huh? Pushpam vikasyate. Ah. Pushpena. Pushpena vikasyate. Kshamita. Ah. Pushpena vikasyate. Vikasati is a akarmaka kriya padam. So that is not karma. Ah. Miru kabhavek chaptunara. Karmani chaptunara. Karmani kosam oka padam choose tuna. I am trying to look for an example for karmani. Astu. Kshamita. Ramena ravanuha mahataha. Hmm. Huh? Ramena Ravanaha Hataha. Ah, Hataha. Hataha you can take. Who is, uh, has been killed. So Hataha means has been killed. So immediately it is indicating who has been killed. So Ravana. So it is indicating the karma. So here the Kriyapadam you can say it is in Karmani. Because it is indicating karma. And bhave is, the, the dhatvartha is emphasized on. So it is not pointing at the karta or the karma. It, only the dhatvartha is being uh, expressed here. Okay, then we say it is bhave. Okay. Ikra samsiddhi. Karta, karta uh, importance. There is no importance to karta nor karma. Hmm. So mm -hmm. it is only dhatu which is which has the importance, which has significance mm -hmm. in this bhave. Okay. Ah, the dhatvartha is only being emphasized on. Okay. So say Asimha. for example, Patanam. Mm -hmm. Patanam. The, there also there is no significance for the karta. Because there is no word given. Who is reading Anaidi mentioned Chaile? And the Kriyapadam is not through the Kriyapada, the Karta is not Abhihitam. Okay. Mm. Through the uh, Kriyapadam, the karma is also not being Abhihitam. Mm. Uh, the emphasis is only on the Kriya of that word, of that Dhatu, Patanam. And it right. is only indicating that Patanam. Mm. We are not talking about the Karta. If I say Patati, mm. then the Karta is being indicated through pa Patati. Oh. Oh. When I say Pathyate, the Karma Padam mm. is being indicated. Karma Abhihitam. Oh. Shloka oh. Pathyate. Shlokaha Pathyate, Gita Pathyate. So there, uh, there we can say Pathyate is uh, Karmani because it is in uh, Abhihitam. Karma Abhihitam out on the Kada. Oh, oh. When I say Pathanam, Karta api na Abhihitam, Karma api na Abhihitam. So we can say it is Bhave. Asti. Okay. Bhagini, a Krishna Asti. Huh. Um, when you say the Krudanta, they could be either Kartari, Karmani, Bhave. And there hmm. was a fourth one. What was the fourth one? No, I didn't say any fourth one. Just the three? Kartari, Karmani, Bhave? Yes. Okay. Dhaniyavad. Okay. Okay. So next to Shloka. Um... Ali Rani Bhagini? Aman. Yajjad Acharati Shreshtha Tata Deveta Rojanaha Tayat Pramanam Kurute Lokhastha Danu Vartate Yajjad Acharati Shreshtha Tata Tata Eva Itaraha Janaha 
सह यत् प्रमाणम कुरुते लोकः तत् तत् अनुवर्तते हम्म पद परिचय में भी बताए तो बगैर आ यत् यत् अव्ययम अव्ययम नास्ति यत् शब्दस्य यत् शब्दस्य आ नपुंसकलिंगम यत् नपुंसकलिंगम आ यत् यत् नंदी का दा इफ इट इज यहा इट वुड हैव बिकम पुमलिंगा इफ इट इज या इट वुड हैव बिकम स्त्रीलिंगा यत् इज नपुंसका यत् आचरति सो हियर वी नो दैट ये दही ते आचरिंचारो सो कम द कर्मा पदम सो इट विल बी इन द्वितीय आविभक्ति सो नपुंसका द्वितीय आविभक्ति एक आचरति नटकार प्रथम पुरुष एक वचन आर्धा आ उपसर्ग चर्धा श्रेष्ठ 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 अकारात पुण्य प्रथमाक्ति एक वचन पुण्लिंग प्रथम व्यक्ति जन अकारात पुण्य प्रथम व्यक्ति एक वचन सह तुण्य प्रथम व्यक्ति एक वचन यमाण युशकिंग प्रथम द्वितीय व्यक्ति एक वचन प्रमाण अकारात विभक्ति अनुवर्तकारुषन अनु अनु उपसर्ग वृत्त धातु हम्म अनु उपसर्ग वृत्त धातु उत्तम वृत्त धातु हम्म अतने पर ही पदम वर्ष एक वर्ष पदार्थ श्रेष्ठ है प्रशस्त है यत् 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 कर्म आचरति करोति इतरह जनह अन्य पुरुषः तत् तत् एव तत् कर्म एव आचरति सह श्रेष्ठ है यत् यत् प्रमाणम यत् प्रमाणम प्रमिति साधनम कुरुते अंगी करोति लोकः जनः तत् तदेव प्रमिति साधनम अनुवर्तते अनुसरति अन्वयः श्रेष्ठः यत् यत् आचरति येन इतरः जनः तत् तत् एव आचरति सह यत् प्रमाणम कुरुते लोकः तत् अनुवर्तते आकांक्षा आचरति कः आचरति आचरति कर्म क्रियापद कह आचरति श्रेष्ठ आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन किं श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन आचरति मला आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन कह आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन जनः आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन कह जनः आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन इतरः जनः आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन इतरः जनः किम् आचरति श्रेष्ठ यद्यत् आचरति तेन इतरः जनः तत् एव 
ತತ್ತದ್ದೇವ ತತ್ತದೇವ ಆಚರತಿ ಕುರುತೆ ಕಹ ಕುರುತೆ ಸಹ ಕುರುತೆ ಸಹ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋ ಕುರುತೆ ಸಹ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ತೇನ ಕಿಂ ಭವತಿ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ತೇನ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ತೇನ ಕಹ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ತೇನ ಲೋಕ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ತೇನ ಲೋಕ ಕಿಂ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಕುರುತೆ ತೇನ ಲೋಕ ತತ್ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ತಾತ್ಪರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಪುರುಷ ಯಥ ಆಚರತಿ ಇತರೆ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಜನಾ ತಥೈವ ಆಚರಂತಿ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣತ್ವನ ಸ್ವೀಕರೋತಿ ಇತರೋಪಿ ತದೇವ ಇತರೇಪಿ ತದೇವ ಪ್ರಮಾಣತ್ವನ ಸ್ವೀಕರ್ವಂತಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜೇಯ ಮೃತಂ ಯತ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಏಕಪದಂ ಯದ ಯದಂಗ ಯದಂಗಯು ಯದಂಗಯುಕ್ತ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಯದಂಗಯುಕ್ತ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥ ಸಂಧಿ ಯಜ್ಜತಾಚರತಿ ಯತ್ ಯತ್ ಆಚರತಿ ಜಸ್ವ ಸಂಧಿ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠಸ್ತತ್ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ತತ್ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಂಧಿ ಸಕಾರ ತದೇವ 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 ಜಸ್ವ ಸಂಧಿ ಇತರ ಜನ ಇತೇತರೋ ಜನ ಏವ ಇತರ ಗುಣಸಂಧಿ ಇತರ ಜನ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಂಧಿ ಸಕಾರ ರೇಫ ಮುಖಾರ ಗುಣಸಂಧಿ ಸ ಯತ್ ಸಹ ಯತ್ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಂಧಿ ಲೋಪ ಲೋಕಸ್ ತದನು ವರ್ತತೆ ಲೋಕ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತತ್ ಲೋಕ ಲೋಕ ಲೋಕಸ್ ತತ್ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಸಂಧಿ ಸಕಾರ ತತ್ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ತದನು ವರ್ತತೆ ಜಸ್ವ ಸಂಧಿ ಕೃತಂತ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪ್ರ ಪ್ರ ಉಪಸರ್ಗ ಮಾ ಧಾತು ಲಿಟ್ ಪ್ರಚೇಮು ಕರಣೆ ಪ್ರಮೀಯತೆ ಜ್ಞಾಯತೆ ಅನೇನ ಇತಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ರಸಸ್ಯ ರಸಸ್ಯ ಇಷ್ಟನ್ ರಸಸ್ಯ ಧಾತು ಧಾತು ಇಷ್ಟನ್ ಧಾತು ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇಮು ಪ್ರಶಸ್ಯ ಧಾತು ಅತಿಶಯ ಶ ಇತಿ ಆದೇಶ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಇಷ್ಟನ್ ಧಾತು ಇಷ್ಟನ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಇಷ್ಟನ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯಂ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ತರಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ತಮಪ್ ಇಷ್ಟನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಸ್ತು ಬೈನಿ ಸೋ ಅತ್ರ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಪದಾನಿ ಕಾನಿ ಆಚರತಿ ಕುರುತೆ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಅನುವರ್ತತೆ ಹ್ಮ್ ಸೋ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಕ್ಷಮತಾ ಭಗಿನಿ ಭಗಿನಿ ಏಕವರ ಇಕ್ಕಡ ರೆಂಡು ಸಾರಲು ಕಹ ಕಹ ಅನಿಚ್ಚರು ಒಕಸಾರೆ ಕೀದ್ರಶಃ ರಾವಲೇಮೋ ಕದ ಎಕ್ಕಡ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯದ್ ಯದ್ ಸಮ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಕಹ ಆಚರತಿ ಕೆ ಅಪರಂ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯದ್ ಯದ್ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಕಹ ಜನ ಆಚರತಿ ಇತ್ಯರ್ಥೆ ಕೀದೃಶಃ ಜನ ಆಚರತಿ ಆ ವಕ್ತವ್ಯಂ ಖಲು ಆ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯದ್ ಯತ್ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಕಿಂ ತೇನ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯದ್ ಯತ್ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಕಿಂ ಸೊ ತೇನ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಕಹ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಜನ ಆಚರತಿ ಅದಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯತ್ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ನೌ ವೆನ್ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಡೂ ಗುಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ತೇನ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಆಚರತಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಚರಣ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಆಚರಣ ಜನ ಅಂತ ಇಕ್ಕಡ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಕಿಂದ ತೀಸ್ಕೋಕೂಡದು ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ವಿಶೇಷ ನೋ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಜನ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆ ಜನ ಆಚರತಿ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಯತ್ ಆಚರತಿ ತೇನ ಜನ ಅಪಿ ಆಚರತಿ ತತ್ತದೇವ ಆಚರತಿ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಕಿಂತು ಇತರ ಜನ ಅಪಿ ದತ್ತಂ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಖಲು ಇತರ ಇತಿ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ತತ್ರ ಮರಿ ಕೀದೃಶ ಇತಿ ವಕ್ತವ್ಯ ಖಲು ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜನ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಜನ ವಾಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಜನ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಜನ ದೆನ್ ಕೀದೃಶ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಪ್ಪು ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸಹ ಬಾಲಕ 
पुस्तकं पठति तो धियर पठति कह पठति बालक पठति कह बालक पठति एष बालक पठति वेनैसे उत्तम बालक पठति कीदृश बालक पठति उत्तम बालक पठति बट इफ्राइबिंग क्वालिटीज हाँ वेन यू आर डिस्क्राइबिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ द नाउन देन कीदृश शुड बी यूज अदरवैज ओनली फॉर प्रनौंस लाइक इतरा इज अ प्रनौन एष सह all these are like pronouns for pronouns uh, if you can simply use kaha only why because they are not actually describing the quality so kidrisham ante e rakamaina ane ardham ostundi astu astu avagatam what kind so we are not by by itara we are not uh, describing the kind of people we are simply saying other people itaraha janaha so other people so kaha janaha itaraha janaha श्लोक वी कैन टेक इट एज अद्याहृत फॉर प्रॉपर अन्वय सो यचरती श्रेष्ठ तत्व इतर जन ओके सो वेन एवर वी हेव यत्त the the station that we use is veepsa okay the first yat will be connected to the second yat with the name of veepsa and that second yat is connected as karma padam to aacharati shreshtah yat aacharati tat itarah janah aacharati that is the basic sentence but yat yat shreshtah aacharati tat tat eva itarah janah aacharati okay to emphasize on the fact that what the shreshta are doing that yat yat comes okay to put a little bit more emphasis on uh, what the shreshta are uh, following or practicing so yat yat shreshta aacharati tat tat eva itarah janah aacharati itarah visheshana to janah janah kartrupadam to the second aacharati which we are taking as adhyahritam and yat will be the karma padam to aacharati the first aacharati the uh, tat will become the karma padam to the second aacharati which we took as adhyahritam okay so here the connecting sentences are yat and tat uh, these are the words which are used to connect these two sentences yat shreshtah aacharati is one sentence tat itarah janah aacharati that is the second sentence so yat and tat are connected here normally they are uh, such kind of connections are called nitya sambandha because one does not exist with the other without the other okay so the second part of the sentence saha yat pramanam kurute lokah tat anuvartate anuvartate means follows anusarati uh, lokah means the world means uh, the people Uh, saha here saha indicates shreshtah okay so here the saha indicates shreshtah from the previous line so saha yat pramanam kurute that which he takes as the pramanam okay so which knowledge uh, through which knowledge he takes pramanam is nothing but a kind of knowledge so that which he takes or which uh, as per which knowledge he follows which he takes as the pramanam normally shreshtah takes the vedas as the pramanam so vedas is nothing but knowledge right we are uh, we are gaining knowledge of how to do things and how not to do things how to lead a you know dharmika life how not to lead a dharm uh, non dharmika life all that the vedas teach so those are like the pramanam so saha means shreshtah yat pramanam kurute denaite pramananga chestado tat loka anuvartate so that only the loka also follows why because not everybody can understand read and understand the shastras so they will tend to follow the shreshta we all also are following uh, you know we, why what is the reason for us to perform these pujas to these deities 
why are we performing these pujas because we identify certain qualities in all these deities which are good qualities and we try to follow them we try to remember uh, these qualities these good qualities in them daily through these uh, stotras that we recite or whatever uh, you do uh, the reason behind that should be we are trying to identify the qualities from uh, within all these and by that constant mananam we also tend to gain uh, those qualities we should, at least that should be the goal of uh, reading all these stotras and all so when you are reading uh, stotra on hanuma you have to watch each and every word so by by uh, by uh, reading these uh, stotras these are the qualities of hanuman so we also at least by daily uh, reading we should also try to gain those qualities through that constant smarana of hanuman similarly with each deity we have certain set of qualities that they have um, and uh, by constantly thinking of them we have to try to also practice to gain those qualities within us so that we can uh, also be uh, so that we can it will become easy for us to follow the path of the dharma and to attain moksha so that should be the thing but since we don't know everything we have not read all the shastras so we don't know um, the the some of the things why they are happening a very common example i can quote is many people think uh, they talk they talk little of rama saying that he asked sita to uh, you know enter into the fire to see if she is pure or not or that uh, he left her uh, in the forest when she was pregnant with lava and kusha so how can uh, rama be a god when he did such things is a very common question asked by many people who who do not know the the qualities of rama or in what kind of a situation he had to do what he had to do see he being an avatara purusha it is not uh, uh, do you think he really mistook that golden deer as a golden deer didn't he know that he was a rakshasa of course he knew that even sita also knows that but all has to happen for a reason for the rakshasa vadha because even before rama avatara it has already been told by vishnu that i will come in the form of rama to uh, put an end to ravana so that is already predetermined it is not like they don't know who this uh, golden deer is they know but to set an example if if vishnu directly goes and kills ram ravana then how how is it uh, how are the people going to know how things happen uh, you know what uh, shreshta person does in kinds of uh, difficulty so all these to set an example to the loka everything has to be again elaborated um, elaborated so that people upon looking at that they will understand okay in such a situation this is how we need to be if we follow the maya then this is how we get into trouble uh, so to get out of trouble rama was capable but we are not capable so we have to keep away from trouble as much as possible so things like that are the things that we need to derive from these epics with half half knowledge without even uh, reading the ramayana at all many people pose these questions you know why are you worshiping him he uh, doubted his own wife it is not because he had a doubt uh, with uh, sita it is not at all like that he is a king as a king he will have some responsibilities these days what are they saying my personal life who are you to ask me even the leaders the politicians who are ruling the countries they also have so many um, things uh, that they are doing which are questionable some uh, fraud they are doing so when people ask when they are being questioned what are they saying it is my personal life it is none of your business right but that is not how it should be why because many people tend to follow when you are a leader you are leading so many people you have to set an example of how a person should lead their life you cannot simply say this is my personal time it shouldn't matter to you what i do there no it matters once you take such a position every movement of yours will be observed by people and 
there are many people you know who are depending upon you and uh, who will follow you blindly because of the trust that they have in you so you cannot simply say that so you have to follow a life like uh, you know like a saint only then uh, you will be able to build the trust of all the people because there is so much of responsibility on your shoulders in that position so here when a washerman said something like that he had to send her away why because in a position of the king for him the the happiness of the people or the trust that they uh, should have is more important he should place the country before or the people before his own life it is not that he did not trust in sita but but he has to oblige to the people so when the people are not comfortable with something that he has done he has to prove to them that they are his first priority so for that reason he sent that is one of the reasons and the other reason is that is how it should be so uh, you know that is another reason but every action of rama is explicable um, can be explained okay in the uh, logically if we are unable to explain something logically it means we still have not studied what is given in the ramayana completely so when when we are faced with such questions and if you are not like children can ask you because they are very curious when we try to tell them all these stories that is the first they they ask all these questions you know why did he do this why did he do that um and all these so sometimes we are in a position to answer sometimes we are not in a position to answer why because we have also not been exposed to that kind of knowledge so that is the reason why it is important for us to read the shastras and understand them so that we will know what is the right thing to do when we are in a particular situation and then similarly we will be able to guide others even if we are not in that situation some others might be in that situation and we need to guide them so how do we need to guide them so we need to know we need to have this knowledge so the, these sreshtaha they gain this knowledge by studying the shastras so that is the pramanam that they take and the loka will follow them because all of not everybody will be able to read the shastras and gain that knowledge so the sreshtaha will do and the others will follow so the sreshtaha have to set an example through following the same path and then everybody will follow them okay so that is what is being told here it is not simply mentioning that whatever sreshta do the others do it is the responsibility of the sreshtaha to do what the others now again uh, sreshtaha here means not simply people who are popular people can be can become popular for many reasons some people will become popular by doing satkaryams some people will become popular by doing uh, frauds or by doing the wrong things so again there also our children especially the young children they are not in a position to understand the difference between the two when a person becomes popular by doing all the wrong things they still look at being popular and how people are uh, still uh, following them say for example the movie stars okay they act in the movies sometimes they they act uh, they take up good character roles but sometimes they take uh, uh, you know negative roles but children don't know how to how to differentiate they only see that this particular hero is popular because of this movie and in that movie he did some negative character say for example so he thinks it is okay to 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 do to be like that because he is being praised he is being followed he is he has become popular so for a, in a young child's mind they cannot differentiate between the good and bad unless somebody tells them so here ravana is also popular but by doing the wrong things of course he is a very again another point we need to mention is though he has so many good qualities one bad quality has caused him so much trouble so such things we have to tell um, you know uh, the people who are not knowledgeable about our how to understand our shastras why these old stories many people say that also why what is the use of reading all these old stories uh, who knows if rama really existed okay to such people what we have to tell 
Okay, forget about if Rama existed or not. Okay, at least what can you take out of from this story? So you are reading so many stories right now and you are trying to do some implication. So why not take a story which is so many thousands of years old, which is still um, being heard in one way or the other. How did it survive all these thousands of years? Because of what it has to offer. Is there any other story that is offering what it is offering? Like how a son should be, how a brother should be, how a father should be. Everything, for everything, we can find an answer in Ramayana. So such things we have to emphasize. And we should not challenge people who are not uh, believers in, uh, in our culture. How we should bring them to understand is, Without challenging, without saying, no, he exists, he is the God, without telling that, okay, if you think he is not a God, let us, let us approach from that path. You just consider as a human. So, as a human, see how he did all these things. Even if it is a story, you know, these are the things that the rishis, if they have simply made up this story and has written this. So, these are the things that they have in the mind for the people to learn. So that is the reason why it is given. So the kind of trust that Rama has on Bharata, Bharata, the kind of uh, bhakti that he has on Rama for all those years, right? So these days, who is following that? The politicians. They are trying to kill their own family members for to become, uh, you know, some politician, some prime minister or chief minister or whatever. But back in those days, those are the kind of values. They had complete trust on each other. So that kind of uh, knowledge transfer should happen. And by following that, if you do that, then people around you will also automatically do. Why? Because the main problem in our uh, society is nobody was taught. Nobody was taught the actual Ramayana, actual Mahabharata. Whatever knowledge even our parents have is only from the movies. Only from the movies. So in the movies, how they are portraying people, that is the impression that people in the society have. Why? Because they have not really read what is given in the actual Ramayana and the actual Mahabharata. Or at least if they are unable to read that, we have to listen or read the Vyakyanams made by, uh, you know, the rishis or scholars. So that we will get the actual uh, understanding. So that is very important. That is the reason why here the emphasis is uh, laid on. It is the responsibility of the Sreshtaha to follow the right path so that because there are so many people dependent on them. If the Sreshtaha behave irresponsibly, the Lokaha also will follow them and they also will behave irresponsibly and uh, they will ruin their lives and uh, them losing their lives Will, uh, will also have an effect on the Shreshtaha. They will also be responsible for those people. So when, uh, because we see that all the time, right? Many people following the movie stars, okay, he did that. He is uh, smoking, so I will also smoke. He is using drugs, I will also use drugs. So he is speeding, I will also speed. So what is happening here? Even for a movie star, I believe they have a lot of responsibility. Why? Because they have become popular. Many people are blindly following them. So as being in that position, not everybody can be in that position. So being in that position, they should take and take advantage of that situation. They should only um, take up roles which actually make a difference in the world. Some, some uh, movie stars have done that. And also the kind of advertisements that they... Uh, sponsor that also they should change they are only doing it in the commercial aspect but there are many people who are blindly following only because it has been endorsed by that movie star they are purchasing those and some of those are like uh, food products which uh, ruin their health so I think I really and strongly feel that the anybody who is popular should take advantage of that situation that they are in that the position that they are in for the betterment of the society. But sadly, not many people are doing that. Very few people are doing that. And um, so here, this is the significance of this uh, shloka. Though it appears uh, superficially very simple, there is so much of, uh, uh, you know, responsibility being uh, explained that the Shreshtaha should have. 
here of course the shreshtaha or the knowledgeable scholars i also explained in uh, you know laukika way uh, with the movie stars and all but i feel in this today's world even that is also important because children and all these mass people are following them blindly so so it is important uh, to understand that okay so here we have saha means shreshtaha so here saha means shreshtaha see that kind of uh, um, uh, that kind of connection between the sentences also should be understood with the context um so here we can understand but i sometimes think in the context of the machine uh, so because our project involves this machine uh, language right so that is called a discourse analysis when when the connection is trying to be made between sentences such uh, uh, connections should be made and how uh, how to establish that connection uh, with the machine like how the machine should be taught to make such kind of connection that also needs to be thought about if we are able to explain to somebody how that connection is made it will become more clear to us ourselves okay so here saha indicates the shreshtaha so shreshtaha saha yat pramanam kurute lokaha tat anuvartate here also again yat and tat are the connecting factors between these two sentences okay so yeah so here um, the significance is on the responsibility of the shreshtas to follow the right path so that the loka the general people also follow them yatha raja tatha praja is one uh, that comes from this kind of uh, meaning only like how the king does the people also do the same so it is not simply said yatha raja tatha praja so how the king is like that only the people also of that country also will be there so uh, so it is very very important for people who are in that prime positions like as a king or as a some uh, you know uh, scholarly people all these they have it is on their shoulders they cannot relax thinking that okay we have already attained our siddhi so we need not follow the dharmika way of life we can relax no they have to be even more responsible so that the people also will follow the right path okay and uh, here we have the sandhis are all fine and then kridanta there, are, there is no samasta padam here in this shloka and the kridantas pramanam pra ma dhatu here the ma dhatu is like manam Uh, manam means uh, pramanam uh, like measurement okay we say that in telugu also manam i think in the olden days uh, they used to use that word more for measuring um, i don't know about other languages but in telugu Ma at least mati sanskrite api mati iti ma mm. mati iti de se bhagini mati is dera maapanam karoti ha ah, avun yes so ma ma is the dhatu here for in that sense okay in the measurement sense so here pramanam means pramanam here means we are taking something as the authority authority and we are following that so some kind of measurement to follow the the dharmika way of life so that is a measurement so whatever is given in the shastras is what we are taking as the pramanam so of course with the pra upasarga the meaning will change a little it is not just the measurement but uh, um how do you say that um, you know as as a kolabadda like yeah um, it it is measurement only but in a benchmark i think in english that is the right word benchmark okay so that is the pramanam kolabadda in uh, telugu we say kolabadda okay that is pramanam so here prameyate anena iti pramanam okay so here karane is given if you have noticed in the brackets karane is given why because we are using this as a instrument to measure something the dharmika way of life the pramanam so that is why it is given as karane okay so prameyate 
अनेन इति प्रमाणम् अनंतरम श्रेष्ठः प्रशस्य इष्टं प्रत्ययम् इट इंडिकेट्स सुपरलेटिव इष्टं एंड ईएसुम लाइक तरपेन तमप ओके एनी क्वेश्चंस इन दिस श्लोका ओके सो द नेक्स्ट वन श्री लक्ष्मी भगिनी पठितु मिच्छति वा अस्तु वर्मा अस्तु वर्मा नमे प्रार्थास्ति कर्तव्यम त्रिशुलोकेशु किंचना नाना वाप्तम वाप्तव्यम वर्तये बच कर्मणि न मे पार्थ पार्थ अस्ति वा भगिनी पार्थ इति वा पार्थ अस्ति संबोधनम् वा संबोधनम् आ पार्थ अस्ति कर्तव्यम् त्रिशु लोकेशु किंचना नाना नाना ना ना अनवाप्तम् वा अनवाप्तम् वा आ अनवाप्तम् न अनवाप्तम् अवाप्तव्यम् वर्ता वर्ता हा वा वर्ता वा वर्ता एव वर्ता एव च कर्मणि मैं इति मामा वावा भगनी वर्ता एव एक्चुअली आफ्टर द संधि विभाग इट विल बिकम वर्ते एव इट इज लोपा यांता वांता लोपा वा हाँ यस यस बस हाँ ना इति अव्ययम मैं इति मामा दक आसमत शब्द हा शष्टी एक वचनम पार्था पार्था आकारांत पुलिंग हा संबोधना प्रथमा एक वचनम अस्ति इति अस्तधातो हो प्रथमा पुरुष एक वचनम लटलकार हा कर्तरी कर्तव्यम इति क्रोधातो हो तव्यत प्रत्ययम कर्मणि कलु कर्तव्यम आ तव्यत प्रत्ययम कर्मणि तव्यत कर्मणि त्रिशु इति सप्तमी बहु वचनम त्रिशु इति किम लिंगम त्रि त्रि इति संख्या नपुंसक लिंगम वा हाँ पुम्लिंगम एवा पुम्लिंगम एवा वा पुम्लिंगम अतः त्रि अपि अत्र पुम्लिंगम एवा अस्तु लोकेशु अपि खलु लोकेशु अपि पुम्लिंगा हा सप्तमी बहु वचनम किंचना इति किम नपुंसक लिंगा हा अभ्ययम चना चना अभ्ययम वा बगिनी ना 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 खलु किंचना प्रथमाना द्वितीय वा आ किंचना किम चना सो नपुंसक लिंगा में वा नपुंसक लिंगा में वा प्रथमा वा द्वितीय वा इति ओहो हो वेट लेट इस लुक नमे पार्थास्ति कत्तव्यम त्रिशु लोकेशु किंचना प्रथमा विभक्ति स्वीकर्तुम शक्नोति अस्तु प्रथमा विभक्ति एक वचनम न इति अव्ययम अनवाप्तम अनवाप्तम इति न जानामी बगनी आ सो न अवाप्तम तब प्रत्येम बा तब प्रत्येम बा न पुंसकलिंगे अवाप्तव्यम कलु न अब अब तत इधर नहीं ना अना अनवाप्तम 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 अनवाप्तव्यम अपरम पदम हम्म सो द फर्स्ट वन इज अक्सा ता प्रत्येक मस्तु आ अवाप्तम अवाप्तम ना प्लस आप उदातुवा ना प्लस ना प्लस Aha, na is na is for the samasa. Ava is upasarga, aap is the dhatu. Okay. Ava plus upasarga, aap dhatu ho. Astu. Hmm. Hmm. Ava ap tavyam la tavyat asti. Ava aap dhatu ho tavyat. Hmm. Hmm. Aparam nasti iti na avyayam asti iti. क्या पदम 
अस्धातोः प्रथमपुरुष एकवचन लट्लकारे कर्तरि कर्मणि एव कर्मणि एव सप्तमी एकवचन वा नपुंसकलिंगे आम अस्तु नकारांत कर्मन शब्द नपुंसकलिंग सप्तमी एकवचन वर्ते वर्ते सप्तमी वा तथापि आह सप्तमी का इट इज क्रियापद कर्तरी उत्तम पुरुष एक वचन वर्त वृत्त धातु अच्छा वर्ते उत्तम पुरुष वा अस्त पदार्थ पार्थ पृथानंदन त्रिषु लोकेशु त्रिषु भुवनेशु मे मम किंचन किमपि कर्तव्यं कर्म न नास्ति न विद्यते अनवाप्तम् अलब्धम् अवाप्तव्यं लब्धव्यं अनवाप्तम् अवाप्तव्यं ओहो नास्ति न वर्तते कर्मणि एव केवलं कर्मणि वर्ते तिष्ठामि अन्वय पार्थ त्रिशुलोकेशु मे किंचन कर्तव्यं नास्ति अनवाप्तम् अवाप्तम् अवाप्तव्यं च नास्ति तथापि कर्मणि एव वर्ते अंटे पार्द अर्जुन नेनु मूड लोकाल्लोनु नाक ये कर्तव्यमु लेदु अईना कुड दोरकेदी दोरकंदी कुड लेदु अईना कुड नेन कर्मलु चेस्तुने उन्न Healthy <laughs> न अस्ति इति आपरम क्रियापदम किम नास्ति अनवाप्तम नास्ति कीदृशम च अनवाप्तम नास्ति अवाप्तव्यम अवाप्तव्यम अनवाप्तम न च नास्ति वर्ते इति आपरम क्रियापदम कस्मिन एव वर्ते कर्मणि एव वर्ते अस्मिन श्लोके संबोधन पदम किम पार्थ तात्पर्यम अर्जुन त्रि त्रिभुवनेशु मम किमपि कर्म नास्ति अप्राप्तम प्राप्तव्यम अपि नास्ति तथापि अहम् कर्मणि प्रवृत्तोस्मि व्याकरणम् संधि पार्थास्ति पार्था प्लस अस्ति सवर्ण दीर्घ संधि नानवाप्तव्यम् न प्लस अनवाप्तव्यम् सवर्ण दीर्घ संधि वर्त्येव वर्त्येव आयादेशः आयादि संधि कलु हाँ अधे यांता वांता एवा अधे आयादि संधि यांता वांता कर्मणि अवाप्तम अवा प्लस आप प्लस त कर्मणि अवाप्त आप्तव्यम आप प्लस तव्य कर्मणि हम्म तो अत्र क्रियापदानि कानि अस्ति वर्ते नास्ति अपि अत्र ना अस्ति अत्र अध्याहृतम स्वीकरणीयम हम्म हम्म तो हियर अस्ति सो व्हेन वी लुक एट द अन्वय पार्थ त्रिशु लोकेशु में किंचना कर्तव्यम नास्ति। सो हियर कर्त्रपदम किम कर्तव्यम। ओह। ओके कर्तव्यम विल बी द कर्त्रपदम। हम्म। तो में विल बी शष्टि संबंध। मामा कर्तव्यम। हम्म। एंड किंचना विल बी विशेषणा टू कर्तव्यम। मींस इवन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ वर्क। हम्म। Okay, is not there. Mm. That which is to be done. Kartavyam means that which is to be done by me. Mm. Okay, Kartavyam nasti. 
न अस्ति नास्ति कुत्र नास्ति त्रिषु लोकेशु विल बी विशेषण टू लोकेशु लोकेशु विल बी अधिकरण तो इन दिशु लोकेशु किंचन कर्तव्य अस्ति सो दट इज वन सेंटेन्स एंड पार्थ विल बी संबोधन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेन्स इज अनवाप्त अवाप्तव्यम च नास्ति सो न अस्ति हियर वी हैव टू टेक अस्ति एज द अध्याहृतम न इज ऑलरेडी गिवन सो देन इट विल बिकम नास्ति विल बी द क्रियापदम न अस्ति किम न अस्ति अवाप्तव्यम अनवाप्तम इति भावे वाक्यम किंदक तीसकोला बगिनी आम भावे किंद दैट व्हिच नो कर्मणि एव ఎందుకంటే ద్రవ్యత్ కర్మణిలోనే వస్తుందనా దట్ విచ్ ఇస్ టు బి అబ్టైన్డ్ బై మీ ఆర్ దట్ విచ్ ఇస్ నాట్ టు బి అబ్టైన్డ్ అంటే దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ దట్ ఐ నీడ్ టు అబ్టైన్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ దట్ ఐ హావ్ నాట్ అబ్టైన్డ్ అనా అనా పాపం అల్ ఇఫ్ యు టేక్ ద దిస్ సే సెంటెన్స్ అలోన్ హ్మ్ నో కర్త కల కలు హ్మ్ कथम देर इज नो अबल बै मी अगलम देर इज नथिंग टू बी अब बै मी बै मी अलगम कदा सो अहमी अवाप्तव्यम नया मैया अवाप्तव्यम कि नास्तीत पंदवल అంటే మయ అనేది అధ్యాహృతం అంటారు ఇక్కడ ఆ వి కెన్ టేక్ ఇట్ యాజ్ అధ్యాహృతం yes అస్ అస్ అవాప్తవ్యం నాస్తి సో దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ ఫర్ మీ టు అబ్టైన్ ఆర్ దట్ విచ్ హస్ నాట్ బీన్ అబ్టైన్డ్ బై మీ దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ ఫర్ మీ ఓకే దేర్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ టు బీ అబ్టైన్డ్ ఆర్ దట్ విచ్ హస్ నాట్ ఆల్్రెడీ బీన్ అబ్టైన్డ్ अप्राप्तम प्राप्तव्यम अभी नास्ति तथा द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंस इज कर्मणि एव वर्ते वर्ते इज उत्तम पुरुषा सो अहम कर्मणि एव वर्ते इन द कर्मा सुनली आई एम लीडिंग मै लाइफ लाइक बै डूइंग द कर्मा सुनली आई एम देर सो हियर कर्मणि विल बी विषयाधिकरण because in the karana adhikarana astu 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 kshamyata because it is adhikarana it is not indicating a place or a time it will be vishaya adhikarana karmani hmm. eva aham varte see he is being lord krishna uh, there is nothing that he uh, has to attain through his karmas and hmm. nothing that he has not already obtained he has already obtained siddhi right hmm. but he is still doing karmas why because he wants to set an example to others like hmm. people like arjuna itself hmm. for anybody even rama the reason why he did what he uh, what he did was to set an example to normal people because many times normal people what do they say if we talk about vishnu they say oh vishnu is a lord he can do anything we are normal people we cannot do that hmm. we talk about krishna see how krishna did Uh, he did the samhara of so many rakshasas oh he is an avatara purusha that is why he did he is lord krishna so he did that we are regular people we cannot do so to to give an answer to such people he took the avatara of rama as a human otherwise he would have used his powers to destroy uh, ravana but why did he follow that uh, path of a regular person because to set an example to people that even we can do if we set our mind to it and on the way again he showed the practical way even as a person it is not like in our movies today the hero can do anything no matter what but there <laughs> as a real human when needed he was taking the help when lost he was lost when in pain he was in pain but he like how a regular person you know with some intelligence does he did all those things so so we, we can relate we can relate to it and with little abhyasa we will also be able to follow that path so 
in every avatar of vishnu if you observe there will be something um, that we, uh, that is being conveyed to us as an example with every avatar there is something if we are not able to understand it means we have not studied that shastra or that epic properly otherwise we will get that message so that is uh, that will be the next uh, shloka where he says that the, the reason why he is also performing the karmas. So, but here what we have to understand is, so doing the karmas is not only for our own uh, benefit of uh, moving into the jnana marga. The karma marga is not only to move on to the jnana marga or not only to satisfy our in indriyas or needs, but also, especially for the sreshtaha, it is their responsibility to perform these karmas uh, continue to perform these karmas even after they attain their siddhi so that they can set an example to others. If everybody attains a siddhi and moves on to Paramapadam and nobody is here on the earth, then how, how are the others going to learn? They are only being uh, told, but they don't see it practically. So uh, for that purpose, some people have uh, decided or chose to stay and continue doing their work here uh, so that it will set an example to people like us. So even Krishna, even Vishnu, why why is he taking the pains of coming uh, to onto the earth again? He doesn't have to. He can simply destroy all the evil uh, from wherever he is. But why is he taking this avatara coming, following a certain path, uh, taking, uh, you know, consulting people and, you know, so that it is known to the people, to the to the. Uh, general public. So uh, whatever he is doing is being shown to the people. Why? Because he wants to set an example to show them how to lead their life. Okay. So uh, here we have samasa anavaptavyam na avaptavyam naitat purusha kartavyam krudhatoho tavyat. Okay. Uh, it is given as karmani. So kartavyam means that which is to be done. So that which is to be done. So it is uh, karma abhihitam. So, karmani. Avaptam. Ava upasarga apdhatu khtha pratyaya. Here also is karmani. Aptavyam. Aptavyam. Tavyam. Is the tavyat is the pratyaya. All these are karmani. You all are familiar with these uh, pratyayams. Okay. So, let us uh, stop here today. Any questions? In the shloka, no chet, um, shanti mantra, shanti shloka. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve santu niramayaha, sarve bhadrani pashyantu, ma kaschid dukha bhag bhavet, om shanti shanti shanti. Dhanyavada bhavadi, sarve bhavadi.